two sets of prophesying made by the Prophet ﷺ in the scores of statements he made regarding what would unravel before the end of time, that of material prosperity and that also of increased brutality. Abu Huraira radiallahu anhu reports that the Prophet ﷺ said, the hour, the final hour will not commence before wealth becomes abundant and overflowing to the point that a man will walk out with the charity due on his wealth and not find anyone in need to accept it from him. And to the point, he said, that the lands of Arabia will return to being. They will revert back to a state of meadows and rivers. While acknowledging earlier manifestations of this prophecy, that of unprecedented affluence, current lifestyles in today's first world live in luxuries that surpass 99% of all of recorded human history. Even those of us who are financially struggling enjoy recliners in our homes that are more comfortable and cozier than any ancient royal king's throne. We all enjoy climate controls on our walls. And by and large, we all have access to modes of transport Perhaps even more intriguing is the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam mentioning the agricultural transformation of Arabia in the same context as the surplus of wealth and material prosperity. And a related miracle here is that the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was aware and had knowledge that Arabia was at one point in time meadows and rivers, he said revert back to that state. Also regarding how material prosperity will be a sign of the end times, the Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be upon him said, when you start seeing the barefoot naked shepherds of camels competing in the construction of high rise buildings, then await the hour, it's about to commence. Isn't it remarkable to witness two of the world's three tallest skyscraper buildings? As for the increase in brutality and killing, and in another narration, the Prophet ﷺ said, I swear by the one in whose hand is my soul, this world will not end until the killer no longer knows why he killed, nor the one who was killed knows why he was being killed. And in a final hadith, the Prophet ﷺ said, the hour will not commence until you see knowledge being removed, earthquakes becoming prevalent, time narrowing, turmoil surfacing, and anarchy, namely killing, lots of killing, he said. As for knowledge becoming scarce, one can simply ask what the average Muslim knows about their religion. As for the narrowing of time, the ubiquity, the prominence of entertainment around us has time flying between the gizmos and the gadgets and the devices that are in our hands and our pockets and our laps and our homes that are designed and engineered to distract us. And so peace be upon the one who foretold of these times so accurately.